High school, quarterback his first year at Hines Junior College, only one year as a receiver prior to coming here. Big hole, inside fumble, and Fresno State will take over as Joe Smith had a huge opening and dropped the football. That's exactly what their staff and Jack Vignell talked about. Too many turnovers in this football team. That's why they're not playing for the championship tonight. Joe Smith gets good blocking, gets hit. Nice hit by Cameron Worrell, the safety. And one of the things I used to tell the running backs is once they got past the linebacker area, put two hands on the football. Yeah. Six years ago to establish a sense of pride in the region. It's a symbol of the agricultural community that Central Valley actually claims about 50% of the Bulldog roster, Jerry. Thank you, Heather. Pass completed upfield, and that is DeAndre Gilbert. And he's still on his feet, cuts it back inside the 40-yard line, down to the 35. So a huge gain for Fresno State. Chris Marshall finally catches Gilbert, possibly saving a touchdown. What happened on this situation, Mike and Jerry, is they went, caught him in man-for-man -man on a blitz. And with the cro crossing rods, Gilbert just was wide open. Mike, when you spread the field and you cross patterns, it's almost always going to rub two people together. I saw it. Florida beat Georgia with 18 flare screens to the back. 18 in one game. Well, they lined up to attempt a 53-yard field goal, and instead they squib kick it down to the one-yard line. So what a field position change for Fresno State. Ten inside the 15. Henniger will hand off. Left side, Rodney Davis cuts it back across the 25 and is finally thrown down at about the 32 yard line michael johnson the free safety stops him after a gain of 19. Well, michael johnson saves a, a a touchdown here but the key thing about this play was the offensive lines blocking and also the fact that michael johnson squared up and made a good open field tackle bike while he got run over and that one down in lovely downtown where no beautiful downtown beautiful orlando. downtown orlando okay <laughs> Big hole for Roddy Davis, still rumbling down inside the 30. And now the offensive line is starting to take charge for Fresno State. Three this year. 11th play of this drive for Fresno State. And Penninger looks for the screen. Has Davis, 10-yard line, 5-yard line, and delivers a blow at the 2 to Corey Brazil. But Brazil rustles him out of bounds. Lead a great play oh, call good. by Frank Signetti. Frank. The Good offensive call. line, Joe Shea, Tua, number 67, sets up for the block. They're figuring run all the way. They come roaring up the field, and now they just dump the screen, and good blocking by the offensive line. Throw the screen to a nice, really good imagination there. High formation, tight end in motion. They will hand it to Davis, and he will slide across. Touchdown, Fresno State. And in 10. One point football game here in Ruston, Louisiana. Fresno State with the football pressure to drop it off to Rodney Davis. Lots of running room across the 50 down near the 40 yard line. So a great, another great offensive call. Another offensive call by Frank Signetti of faking the ball to Davis and then throwing the screen to him. This is the second time he's done it, Mike. Yeah, second, second, second big time. play. No, go on, give it. Right there, look. Good fake. Easy pitch and catch. Fresno State again driving. Inside the 35. Huge hole for Davis. 20, 15, 10. And he is finally corralled by Corey Brazil, the right cornerback. Well, the one thing's for sure, in the pregame show, I told you to watch this ball game because you're going to see passes all over the field. Uh-huh. Forget about passing. <laughs> they are just decided that they're going to run the ball directly at them with the option run. And, Mike, the thing I like about Fresno State's line is they're all coming off the ball well. Well, the 39-year-old head coach at Louisiana Tech trying to hold Fresno State out of the end zone. Touchdown on the pass to Marque Davis. Well, that was too easy. 11-yard mm. bullet by Penninger. The redshirt freshman to Davis. And that's what they call answering an answer. <laughs> and a moment ago, Rodney Davis, a little shaken up, walked off on his own. 
going deep upfield, wide open, and has the receiver Marque Davis. That is Rodney's brother, and he makes had to wait on the football, or else he'd have had a touchdown. Corey Brazil makes a stop at the 20 yard line. First of all, Marque Davis uh, does a nice job of looking this football in. Lee, what they did is they set that up right. It looked like a crack back block. And now watch him, watch that football in. He doesn't worry about Brazil's hands. Makes that catch. Good Mark concentration. Marque Davis this year has had three touchdowns over 65 yards. So obviously he's got the speed to get. A little bit different defensive lineman. Yeah, he's different. And the flanker screen, and uh, it is smelled up quickly. Chris Norwood has nowhere to go. Big Nick Burley, their Lombardi Award candidate on the list to begin the year there to make the stop. Almost almost picked off the pass. I think Washington State wins that ball game with Gesser in the shotgun. Here, I'll give you a little tip. Okay. Marque Davis on the reception. Up across midfield here in the final minute and 20 seconds of the first half. Boy, good block right there by Logan Mankins. Special place in heaven for coaches like <laughs> I'm telling you, Mike. Right on the, right next to the board, right? Wide open downfield is Gilbert and he will yeah. score. Wide open, 35 yard completion. Paul Pinnegar to DeAndre Gilbert, the junior from Fresno and more points for the Bulldogs of Fresno State. Yeah, they just are eating a little bit more red beans and rice out there in Fresno. But that was, I, I you got to compliment a football team on oh. a two minute drill. They only used one timeout and they went right down the football field and scored. And it looked just like a National Football League team does, utilizing the outside cuts and then a deep cut and then a screen and everything else. That's where that background of Hill and those guys come from. I think the National Football League does that better than anything else. Guys, how about the redshirt freshman Penninger? 247 oh. yards passing in the first half. The look at the quarterback. They say he is a young Trent Dilfer. The extra point is up and good. And get good cover. Lee, some kind of crossing route yeah. right in here where you can hit a guy and then let him run for the first down. A safe pass, though. Third and 31. Henniger, the red shirt freshman, has the receivers wide open at the 45-yard line. That is Gilbert. Uh, that can't happen. No way. That that just uh, burst the bubble. That was a dagger. Yeah. Third and to and Shreveport, and they made it all the way yeah. to New Orleans. Yeah, DeAndre Gilbert against two deep. He just can't let that happen. Needed 31, got 35 yards. And, Tells you a little bit about the redshirt freshman quarterback. And stepping out of the tackle again. Davis fighting his way forward inside the 10. The flags come down late. Usually a face mask when it comes in from that side. Western Athletic Conference. Well officiated the yeah. game. Paul Levine, the referee. First and goal for the Bulldogs of Fresno State, leading by eight. Pass, touchdown. Well, they picked touchdown them there. Fresno State. That was that was a no, there was no rub. That was a pick play. Great field position now. They call it the red zone inside the opponent's 20-yard line, and they will do the reverse. And five-yard line, three-yard line, touchdown, Fresno State, Adam Jennings, the redshirt freshman from Granite Bay, California, carries it in for six more for Pat Hills Bulldogs. <laughs> Again, they ride the strong horse. Rodney Davis had had 156 yards. That was his 23rd carry. We can take out your golf butter. I can tell you about Bulgaria. We can uh, we can do it all. 18 yards away. I'll answer just a moment. Okay, please. Asin Asparuhov. And the kick is up and good. So he is 20 of 26 on the season. He was actually at Palomar Junior College in San Diego as a backup to the backup kicker and actually went recruiting looking for a Division I school.
program. If I was in college football right now, all the college coaches are out there. They ought to visit Fresno and John Baxter. He has the best plan of how to get the guys to graduate and so forth. I agree. It's called the Academic Game Plan. It's in a booklet form. As you see, Davis moving across for yet another score. But in three years, that academic game plan gave Fresno State 14 scholar athletes and their very first academic All-American, Peyton Williams. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm believe, believe me, I'm telling you, it's sharp. I mean, it's good. I want to go over another. There's a perception out there that Fresno State has a bunch of what they call prop players. That means guys that couldn't make it. Proposition, right? That's it. Hooters to the Special Olympics National of sixty thousand dollars. Congratulations. And that one, no, I mean, I didn't know. Congratulations, that's... you and Hooters. And that one is picked off down about the five-yard line. Yeah, things keep going uh, from bad to worse for Tech. And EJ Henderson coming back from from his back problems, back surgery, getting it done up there for the Terrapins in College Park. I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> uh, I wasn't paying attention, but what did the chicken? They did. While we look for sanity here, let me just mention the NFL tonight is coming up next. First ever live national telecast from Joe IA Stadium in Ruston, Louisiana. Maxi Causey, the backup quarterback in for Louisiana Tech. Fumble. Fumble, Doc. And the, the turnover <coughs> will give the ball back. I, I bet you right now that Pat Hill either takes a knee or hands off right up in the middle. He will not try to score another touchdown. Oh, I know. He's, he's, he's too classy I agree guy. with him. Too classy I guy. agree with you. That's Remember what I said? <laughs> What's that? I can't say it anymore. That should be the final play of this one as they will not spot the ball inside the 25 seconds. Doc, enjoyed doing the game with enjoyed you. It, Guys, Doc. it's been a that pleasure. Good. A great year yeah. on Thursday night, Mike. Lee. Oh, I had Thanks a great for, Thanks, Thanks for, for coming. We, that was Heather, good. we enjoyed you. Heather. And so Fresno State gets their eighth win for the third time in the last four years. And Pat Hill's Bulldogs will head to the Silicon Valley Classic, their fourth consecutive bowl game for the first time ever in program history. Our final score, Fresno State 45, Louisiana Tech 13.